Lightning round. Who's next over here? Let's go. Keep it cracking like lightning. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping that you all have fans who maybe like to give you things. And I was wondering uh, if you take take it as given that people are going to give you things whether you want them to or not, what would you prefer them to give you? And is there anything you wish people would stop giving you? Great question. Let's do this. Fan gifts. What do you want and what are you sick of getting? Lightning round. Uh, I did a comic about a microscopic violin made by an open source something or other, and fans, some fans actually built an open source violin that was microscopic and mailed it to me. And then I opened the packet and was like, whoa, this is cool, and set it down on my desk and looked away and looked back, and I haven't been able to find it since. <laughs> Double points. Uh, uh, you should uh, give us just gold. <laughs> Anything at all that's not bulky. Yeah. I really don't need any more t-shirts. <laughs> but I do need more dice. Uh, I did a show about squirrels, and people gave me a bunch of squirrel stuff. I did a show about vampires, and people gave me a bunch of vampire stuff. So my next show will just be called Money. <laughs> Somebody once uh, sent me a beautifully knitted uh, classic Tom Baker Doctor Who scarf, which was amazing, and I've used it for years. So I like that kind of stuff. Body parts, not so much. <laughs> Somebody actually did send our colleague Mike Nelson once bloody molars in a box. So, I, I don't want parts of anyone's body, thank you. Uh, chocolate and chocolate cakes always welcome. Please do not punch me. <laughs> uh, somebody once made me a Jonathan Colton action figure with uh, a bunch of accessories in a box. It was pretty sweet. Um, I do not like receiving uh, enormous half-pony, half-monkey monster stuffed animals when I'm on tour because by the end of tour I have about ten of them. And I would need to bring an empty suitcase just to take all of them home. So just the small ones, just the small half money, half money monsters, please. Um, we have no problem with people throwing panties at us. Uh, I feel guilty when people put extreme amounts of effort into decorating or making said panties because we don't do anything with them anymore except throw them out because I realized a year into it. It's what did you used to do with them? <laughs> we used to collect <laughs> We used to collect them and we'd catalog them on Flickr, the gallery of strong panties, until I realized it was probably uh, not, uh, not the right thing for a grown man to take entire garbage bags full of panties and put them in his trash on a weekly basis. Also, we're, we're all set on ideas for songs, thanks. <laughs> you know, if you, uh, if you just give the garbage man 20 bucks a week, he'll throw away as many panties as you can put in a bag. Pro tip. Uh, I love it when people do uh, do art. Uh, I'm talking about um, uh, comic art or or paintings or any kind of like art that you make. And I'm I'm trying to put together a graphic novel of all my adventures. So I'd like to crowdsource that. I don't want to I don't want to pay for it, of course. <laughs> oh, uh, so the world is ending, by the way. That's the, uh, that's the, uh, we're dog more than Tom. That's the, oh, I'm going up! I'm going up! No, that's... <laughs> Other way. Uh, that's the onboard subway, passing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yes, Tom. Luckily, Zodokini has already performed this week. I am grateful whenever anyone gives me a, a, anything. It happens sometimes, but any little gift or whatever, I'm, I'm thrilled to get it. As long as it doesn't make me have to check my bags, like that vial of Dalmatian blood that someone gave me one time that was artfully presented, but then I had to check my bag. No, anything, I'm always grateful for any, any kindness that you would dare to show me, uh, because I will often repay it with a sneer. Uh, but that, but I will say this, I'm also, Thrilled, and I, I'm on the record saying this. I'm, I'm happy to take pictures if, if that ever comes up. I don't mean to be presumptuous, but you, I'm also happy to say that it is my preference to share an actual moment of uh, interaction with you than to pose for. Um, 
but I tell you, really you must have one. I'm not going to say no. And oh, to that note, I'll just say that hot tub office hours are on for 2.30 to 4 p.m. The port side hot tub uh, uh, hanging over the ocean. And I will be there. What's that? Ship time. Ship, ship, ship time. No, I'm buzz marketing this thing. I want people to be there if they want. I mean, I don't care. I'm going to take a hot tub at 2.30 to 4 p.m. <laughs> Okay, will David Reese be brave enough to turn up? I don't know. No, I'm going to the beach. Frankly, a sincere greeting is always very much appreciated, and, and, and that's all. If you feel like you're doing anything else, that's also appreciated. Uh, body parts, no toenails. Got toenails on. Uh, and uh, giving someone uh, like this a screenplay is really not a gift. It is, it is a curse. Reese, Reese, what, what did you get? I, honestly, I think that's never happened to me. <laughs> uh, and I thought that's, I'm okay with that. 